Looks like we're live. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. How are you? Doing well. How about yourself? Oh, man, I'm hanging in there, hanging in there. It's been an interesting week. Um, Trump gave his State of the Union, and uh, Stacey Abrams replied, uh, and uh, so did we. So did uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, uh, by the way. So, um, and you guys were busy working on the party convention, right? You indeed draft program out. How's that looking? Um, it's uh, it's there. Uh, the draft program is a new. Uh, you can think of it as a framework, maybe for the uh, the party's uh, strategy and and decision making and activities. Um, this is a, an update of our program, which hasn't been done since 2005. 2005, that's a long thing, man. The world has changed. I mean, the world has changed. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're putting out new ideas to uh, help change it even more. What kind of new ideas? Uh, um, have you read the program? Do you have a sense of some of the things that it's, some of the propositions that it's placing? Well, um, uh, there, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big piece of writing. Um, uh, one of the things that really impressed me about it was, you know, we talk about Bill of Rights socialism, Bill of Rights socialism, you know, keeping the, the liberties guaranteed in the Bill of Rights. Um, this program actually goes, I think, a little farther and in a very positive direction to propose um, a socialist Bill of Rights, not as a, a programmatic, you know, this is what it has to look like, but um, this is what, these are the rights that socialism would guarantee beyond the limited rights that capitalism guarantees or claims to guarantee uh, to us. So I, I thought that was, for, that's, you know, one, one example of, of the way in which we're, um, you know. Well, that's kind forward. of interesting. You know, the Soviet Union uh, had the most advanced constitution uh, in human history. Um, and, uh, but it wasn't adequate you know, to addressing some of the problems that that society was dealing with, you know. Uh, for example, on the issue of the rights of different nationalities and so on, um, the concepts were really quite uh, dramatic with respect to affirmative action and all those kinds of things. But we saw that when the Soviet Union collapsed, all of those problems of nationalism and racism and anti-Semitism reemerged uh, sometimes with a vengeance. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how the discussion goes uh, in our party. With well, and, and, and we have to take into account that um, rights don't come from constitutions. They're won by, by people in struggle. Um, and they, they arise on the, the basis of, um, of, of, of movement. So one can't simply conjure rights out of, out of thin air. Um, so That's right. Think, they have to struggle uh, for them. They have to be built from below. And they have to embody the whole movement um, and the whole concept of socialism. And that's one of the things, the strengths of the concept of Bill of Rights Socialism is that it's an attempt to project a new model of socialism based on the conditions and circumstances in our country. I think you and I debated that issue in an earlier program. What else about the platform and program, the new program of the Communist Party? Uh, um, well, you know, it takes into account that uh, the degree of development of the extreme right threat is different now. Um, There's you know, a fascist danger, which really- We are much closer to, 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 to fascism. Right. Um, uh, it continues to, there's also a lot of continuity. This is not a radical break with anything. It's, it doesn't you know, repudiate anything that comes before. It's, it's uh, an update and a development. Um, right. But it's, yeah. uh, and, and we should emphasize this is not a finished product. This is a draft. Program. Right. Um, it's going to be discussed. Uh, and there's a discussion the coming up, right, on February 17th? Yep. Um, there'll be a, a series of seminars online, one per month, uh, February, March, April, and May. Next one's February 17th. 
I think it's at 6 p.m. Eastern rather than the usual 8 o'clock. 6 p.m. And discussed will be class and democratic struggle. And um, I suppose they, we, we mean by that the relationship between the uh, role of the working class as the motive force of history and the leading element that's going to bring about a new society and other strata in the population. Is, is that what? Yeah, you know? well, the, the idea that um, there are struggles for, so the, the class struggle is, is part of a struggle for democracy. It is, right. it, it is the, the working class, as Lenin says, is the only force capable of fighting for democracy all the way to its conclusion mm. of getting rid of every kind of, um, of inequality. Um, but there are also other, um, there are other democratic questions, other questions of equality um, that, uh, like the women's movement, for example, the, the, the women's movement, the, the rights of racially and nationally oppressed people. Um, those are uh, struggles that are, that have their own historical existence and, and movement that are, you know, also uh, a necessary part of this, this, of creating democracy, let's say. Right, right. So we'll be talking about that on February. And then once a month afterwards, there will be those kinds of uh, discussions. And is this an internal discussion? We only want uh, party members to participate in or? This is absolutely not an internal discussion. Um, the, from the very beginning, I was on the pre-convention discussion committee to sort of kind of set the guidelines for this. Our goal from the very beginning was to have it be the most open the most accessible um, discussion possible. So it's not just for party members, it's for anyone who considers themselves an ally, anyone who's uh, participating alongside of, uh, of us in any of these movements or, or causes that we fight for. We welcome your feedback, your contributions. And how will people give the feedback? Uh, where will that discussion so it's going to take place in several forums, um, uh, principally on the website and on Facebook. Uh, so Facebook, I mean, people can come to the party's page on Facebook and just write a comment and it'll... So um, it's, we're going to... Aren't you worried about, you know, being drowned out by, you know, um, a broader audience? Uh, uh, we, we are not a... a, a a party that is inward looking at all. We, you know, we want, in, in our understanding, um, the whole working class, and right now the whole people is involved in the fight against Trump and fascism, the whole working class and um, anyone who allies with it is involved in the fight for socialism. So we have an interest in making this broad. We, we're not worried about being drowned out at all. Okay, so uh, we invite the broader public to come to our Facebook page, read the documents, and contribute to the uh, discussion. Or send us a discussion piece. If you look on our website, uh, you'll find a list of kind of guiding questions. Um, I think there's about, I don't know, 20 questions or so to kind of stimulate your thinking. Um, you can write up a piece responding to any of those or addressing some other aspect of our work, send it to discussion at cpusa.org. We'll review it and hopefully accept it for publication on our website and Facebook and, and people can comment on that as well. So discussion at cpusa.org, send it in and uh, it'll be uh, published. You are watching this week at the Communist Party um, and we are talking about our upcoming convention, which will take place in June. And we have a pre-discussion period where all of the policies of the party are subject to debate, discussion, and if the party membership thinks so, change. Uh, and that's the goal and, and the purpose of the convention. And well, just, to, just one more point on the... Uh, the discussion and the, the question of being drowned out. Um, we do intend that this is going to be a, a comradely discussion. Um, so there are a number of guidelines uh, we discuss 
ideas and not people. Um, we refrain from insulting uh, anyone. Be friendly, be comradely, no name calling, huh? And, yeah, and, and um, you know, keep it focused, keep it accessible. If you introduce theoretical concepts, explain them. Um, obviously, no homophobic, racist, uh, sexist um, language, anything like that. Um, no anti-working class, anti-communist, whatever. You know the deal. Keep it comradely. Um, we are going to be moderating all of the discussion. Um, so uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Okay. Well, I think that just about does it uh, for uh, this week. You've been watching again this week at CPUSA. Uh, this is the uh, Communist Party's uh, weekly uh, live stream here on Facebook uh, and on YouTube. Uh, we will be back uh, next week when we'll be talking about the 100th anniversary of the party. We're going to invite uh, Jarvis Tyner, who is a longtime party leader. He chairs the committee. The Communist Party is 100 years old. Hey, that's something. It's yeah. exciting. I mean, it's really still, exciting. you know, in the country that has devoted itself, whose ruling class has devoted itself to defeating the communist movement worldwide, we are still alive and kicking and uh, growing. And, uh, and that's an important thing. So, uh, and then we have our young people, our YCL and young communists who are in the party have a new podcast. <clears throat> and we're gonna be inviting them to come and, uh, and uh, talk about their project. So we have an interesting program for you uh, next week. Um, anything else on your mind, Scott, before we go? Uh, no, that just about does it. Um, so uh, have, a, have a great weekend and um, I'm looking forward to this pre-convention discussion period. I think it's going to be terrific. Okay. I'm looking forward to debating with you, Scott. Gonna... Uh -huh. The weapons of dialectic. Uh, all right. Open them up. Okay, guys, sisters, uh, friends, uh, comrades, I will see you next week. Have a great week. You too, Joe. See you later. Bye-bye.